Funding for this portion of the Waters Journey Outreach Program has been made possible by the generous support of Progress Energy. Major funding for Waters Journey has been provided by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, protecting Florida's environment for future generations. Earth is described as a water planet, and without a doubt, water is our most important resource. All living things depend on the natural cycle of water. It is the essence that gives us life. One of the greatest mysteries of our planet is the magical cycle of water. Rain pours down from the skies, nourishing parched vegetation. Evaporation drives water skyward. Spectacular springs convey great volumes to Earth's magnificent rivers. And mankind is intertwined in the complex and endless renewal of water. Perhaps the most amazing wonder about this great cycle is water's secret journey underground, where it can travel for hundreds of years before revealing itself on the surface again. Vast reserves of clean water are held within the rock in the Earth's aquifers. And to protect those precious resources, mankind must come to understand the body of our planet. For within that body lies an arterial network of pulsating flow. And deep within the veins of Mother Earth, there is trouble lurking. Trouble from our current activities. Trouble with actions we caused many years ago. And to safeguard our future, we must fully appreciate water as a renewable resource by tracing the water's path through our lives and our planet. We'll join a team on a daring journey to follow the connective path of water through the landscape, above and within the Earth. They'll venture into the ailing planet on a quest for knowledge to find out what's going wrong. In this episode of Water's Journey, we will explore the very heart of Florida's groundwater. Over eight billion gallons of water a day bursts forth from Florida's springs, the largest and most unique concentration of springs on Earth. Expedition leader Wes Giles is a renowned underwater explorer. As a member of the Florida Springs Task Force, he brings a wealth of experience as one of the few people who has seen firsthand the inside of the Floridan aquifer. On this day, the task force has given Wes one of the most important mandates of his career, to lead a unique scientific mission to explore and map the inside of the Floridan aquifer. They will bring together a very unique team of scientists and explorers to realize that goal. Tom Morris is one of the world's leading cave exploration scientists. His lifetime pursuit to explore the underwater caves of Florida and the life within them. His partner, Jill Heinerth, is probably the most active female cave explorer on the planet. Her wealth of experience using high technology underwater equipment is a perfect complement for the team. But for this expedition to be successful, Wes also needs a piece of equipment that doesn't yet exist. The goal is to dynamically track the location of divers in real time and follow their path underneath Florida. And that's never been done before. Electromagnetics expert Brian Pease was called on to design the technology needed for the project. He has spent most of his life working for the Navy on specialized communications for submarines. He used that expertise to design a transmitter capable of sending out a signal through solid rock and water. If all goes well, 
This will be the first time the underground path of the aquifer will be mapped in real time, giving us an active picture of the relationship between groundwater systems and society's activities above. Turn the track into the team. Right, this is the receiver. This is a gorgeous example of a disappearing stream. Okay, incoming. The team starts their journey in North Florida. They will be traveling over and through karst terrain, a limestone landscape that is characterized by caves, fissures, and underground streams. The goal, to navigate the complex system of underground rivers from where water disappears underground to the point where it resurfaces in Florida's springs. Each dive will require up to two miles of swimming and hours of decompression time. Can you hear me okay? Jill and Tom will be in contact with each other through wireless communications in their masks. But because of depth and the thickness of the rock over their heads, they'll be out of voice communication with the surface. Their experiences, a mystery to the rest of the team until they come up. The state of Florida is a literal Swiss cheese of water-filled labyrinths. Exploring and monitoring the inside of these sinuous conduits not only takes courage, but also one of the most refined skill sets of any occupation. Oh, the tunnel really seems to be opening up a little bit here. Definitely getting bigger, Tom. Yeah, we've got Pedro here. Oh, my God. Look at this. There goes the floor of the cave. Woohoo! <laughs> this is our entry into the Florida Aquifer, Tom. What a place. That is phenomenal. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a drop like this. Yeah, it looks like we're fixing to drop down to 50 million years of limestone. On the surface, Wes and Brian begin tracking the signal. It's hard to imagine an invisible river, unseen hundreds of feet directly below. They are underground beneath of us right here. We've gone from the fringes of the Cody Escarpment, and we're now on the edge of society. Tom and Jill were exploring this part of the system just a few months ago they quickly realize something is very different. The roof of the cave has collapsed, and the huge cavern has been reduced to an opening just a few feet across. For the mission to have a chance to be successful, the divers have to get to the other side of an avalanche of sand and rubble. manages to barely squeeze through, but now he's blocking the water's exit like a cork, and the pressure keeps growing. His equipment is also taking a beating. Inch by inch, Tom gropes, trying to get some leverage. Finally, after minutes of scratching and digging, Tom makes it through. Once past the debris from the cave-in, the divers can see the rest of the cave is unchanged. One of the biggest utilizations for water in Florida is farming. Although it is a justifiable use, it has also created serious issues that are surfacing in springs, the windows into our aquifer. While some of Florida's springs are healthy, many show alarming, even dangerous levels of nitrates, and nitrates are the problem. They can be great on crops, 
but when they enter the aquifer and travel to springs, they can ultimately upset nature's balance.